Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you some of the items that we brought home from our Christmas trip. So a little bit of like a mini merch haul. So let's start with our Christmas related items and you guys know how much I love pins and I was able to find this pin from Disney Springs Pin Trader. So I wanted something that represented our trip and we stayed at Coronado Springs this time and this is so pretty. They actually had one for every single resort and I wanted to buy them all and Mike's like, we were only staying at Coronado Springs, <laughs> just get that one. So I was like, okay. So this one's really cool. So if you notice, it has Emperor's New Groove and it is a flipper. Flip it from the other side and you have Cusco and Yzma. I love the shiny gold around it. I love that it has Disney's Coronado Springs at the top of it. Um, and this is a limited edition. And then if you guys remember back to our Christmas pin vlog, I realized I really only had one pin for the Grand Floridian Gingerbread House. So I was determined to correct that big mistake. So I found this one. It has Beauty and the Beast kind of decorating a gingerbread house. She's got Santa. He has like a little snowman. Um, just a beautiful like wonderland scene with the like candy cane or peppermint striping around it. And then the gold charm is just beautiful. It's a 2022 Grand Floridian Resort. It's very like a snowflake and then on the back of it just has like Mickey imprint, imprint on it. But it's so pretty. And again, they had these for the other gingerbread houses, but I was like, okay, I'm just getting this one. <laughs> oh, and this is a limited edition as well. So while we were down at Disney Springs, we went into Disney Style. Um, it's right by the AMC, and they always have some really cool items in there that you don't necess necessarily see at the parks. And I got this cute beanie. If you notice here, you've got Mulan and Snow White, which I think was just a perfect rendition of what I want. It's this really pretty pink and white color, and it's got the furry pom-pom on the top. But it's a little bit of like a slouch look. And this is a Love Your Melon. So if you are familiar with that brand, you know they make really good um, beanies, or I guess Canadians call them tuches or something. So I call it a beanie. But I like that it kind of slouches and has like the big ball and it is very warm. I actually wore it last night. We went to go see um, a walking lights display in our town and uh, this kept me very toasty warm. <laughs> so I'll just wear it for the rest of the vlog because it's got great detail on it. Is it centered? No, there we go. Okay. I guess it doesn't really match my sweatshirt, but it's okay. And the next Christmas item I have is when we had gone to Epcot, they have a cookie stroll where you go around World Showcase and try lots of different cookies. And I believe if you try four or five, you get stamps in your um, passport book for it. And then they give you a completer treat, which was a cookie. And then they added this year, Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special pin. And if you guys haven't seen it, it is on Disney Plus. It is really cool. Um, if you like 90s music or you like Guardians of the Galaxy, you will absolutely love it. But I thought it was kind of cool that they upgraded and gave you a pin. And it kind of has like this little puffy front to it. So in years past, I think they've just given you like a paper ornament and a cookie. So I thought this is kind of an upgrade. And I love Guardians of the Galaxy. And the next two items were freebies, or I should say included, um, with the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And the first thing when we walked in, they gave us this really fun Christmas ornament. You know what, let me take out the plastic so you can see it. I thought it was really pretty. And again, another step up from them giving us items. Um, but it is a snowflake. It has the castle in, be you know, in the middle of it. It says Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. The castle has the 50th um, on it, which I thought was kind of cool. And on the back it has 2022. And it is metal, it's not plastic. And then as we were leaving, Disney has really been big on giving these prints out um, at the end of party nights. I know they did it for, well, they did it for the 50th. Um, they did it for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and then this is the print from Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And you've got, it says Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. You've got the castle all decorated out with the 50th. You've got Mickey and Minnie down here with Pluto with a cup of hot cocoa. You have the Mickey wreath on the lamppost. 
with the 50th on it. Let me know, do you guys like getting these things, like little freebie things when you're leaving? Um, or do you feel like you'd rather them not spend the money and maybe try and spend the money on something else? And then just kind of as an honorable mention, I did pick up park maps. So I got Hollywood Studios, which has Fantasmic on it, which if you saw our vlogs, this was our first time seeing it since reopening. I got the Epcot guide map, which I really thought it was gonna be something Christmassy, and I believe this was the same as when we were there in October. And then a Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party. And those are fun, free souvenirs. I like to keep them because obviously things change around the parks and then you kind of get a whole layout of things. So if it's been a while since you've been there, you can look at it and kind of study it and see what's changed, what's different. And then the last day that we were there, which was on a Monday, I believe it was the 12th, um, we really lucked out on a lot of things at the park. So they had just released a new popcorn bucket that was not Christmas that I kind of was eyeing. It's really pretty. And when I got there, you just had to do a mobile order. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll see I already kind of put on there what you know how, how easy it was to actually get this popcorn bucket. If you're not following us on Instagram, you should. So I'll put the link below. Um, but I was able to pick up this beauty. Look how shiny it is. Oh, you're probably just gonna see the ring light. Maybe I should turn this off. Probably too dark, you can't really see. But these are the colors, so it's like, pink to purple to green. It's just gorgeous. Okay, let's lighten this back up again. <laughs> it is reflective, so it's only gonna pick up kind of what you have, but I love the colors. The um, band itself is like a rose gold kind of sparkly. It doesn't say, oh, it does say 50th. Actually, it does say 50th. I was surprised. I thought, wasn't sure if it did, but it says Walt Disney World with the 50th on it, if you guys can see that but it's just so pretty and shiny. And it was only $20, so honestly, in the scheme of like popcorn buckets, I thought it was pretty good. And they did give you a certificate to get popcorn at a different place, so there was no popcorn in here ever. Um, but I mean, popcorn, my kids love popcorn, so that worked out well. If you can hear noises, that's either my husband or my kids. <laughs> And then also on the last day we were at the parks, they actually dropped the new 100 Years of Wonder merchandise, or at least the beginning of it. And I did pick up a couple items. The first thing I picked up were these little beauties. So look how pretty these are. I love the silver in the ears, and obviously purple is like my favorite color. Oops, that's the tag. You don't need to see the tag. Disney 100 in the middle. And it's got like a little silvery band. I, and they're really lightweight, which I love too but um, super pretty. And then of course, you know I love a good pin. So it's Mickey and Minnie with the castle. I'm assuming these are gonna be their new outfits for the 100th. And it says Disney 100 at the bottom. I'm probably a sucker for this collection because like I said, purple is my favorite color. So it's all purple. Um, and like that silver, which I think are just beautiful together. So I definitely had to pick this up. This was the only pin I could find, so I'm not sure. If, I'm assuming they're gonna have a lot more. And last but not least in the Disney 100 collection that I picked up was this ornament. It spells out 100, it has Chippendale, and they're looking very dapper in their new costumes, and it says 100 Years of Wonder. I just thought this was so gorgeous. Plus, I like that it's kind of like see-through, you know? and. Obviously, it's pretty cool that it's just the 100 in the front and the Chippendale are looking out of it. And Chippendale, I mean, come on. You knew I had to get this. And believe it or not, that is it. <laughs> so there was a few clothing items and stuff that we got, but th those were the main things that I wanted to show you today. So if you like this video, make sure to be, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, why aren't you? Hit the subscribe button. It'd be like giving me the best Christmas gift of this season. And with that, we will see you next time. Go live your disc goals. Bye.